Fuzz and Buddy! Most important thing, rah, 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 the battle cry, the T-Rex, the purple dinosaur, the Probius, the little engine that could. We're going to be playing a lot more of him in just a moment, but first, I wanted to have a conversation with you, Blizzard. I love this game, but I want you to add more characters. And you've been doing so in a pretty good fashion. I like it, but I just had some characters that I would like to see put in the game. Let's talk about Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness. That's the first game I have ever played. The first Blizzard game, the first computer game besides like 10 pin bowling where it was all da-da! Like on the five and a quarter floppy. Yes, it's a joke. Um, but that's the first computer game I played with a CD and I felt like such a badass. Look, Taro God Warriors! You know, like all that stuff. I'm just like, oh, it's so good. So... I, I want you to bring characters from the Warcraft 2 universe back, man. That was where Cho'Gall got his start. Remember that escort quest? Escort Cho'Gall! The malicious ogre magi! Cho'Gall, escort him to the circle of power! You know, that's a huge thing. That was one of my favorite missions. Meeting Zul'jin. <gasps> that was cool. I think you guys should bring Vol'jin. I want to see some Vol'jin action, right? Um... But Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness was so influential as my development as a gamer dork, as a goofy child, the peon, and the peasant. I know we've already got a worker. I know we do. But there is so much you can do. You could make the peasant like a specialist who can become a tank. Like, oh, he's a militia now. Da -da -da -da. It's kind of referring to Warcraft 3 when they get that militia trait. You could have an acolyte who summons in stuff. You could have a wisp who can make sentinels, kind of like how huntresses did. You know, sentinels in the trees. You could be like, doop, doop. Uh, Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 3 sort of blend together in my mind. But the main things of Warcraft 2, Tides of Darkness... You could make a mount that's a giant sea turtle, or a submarine, or an orcish battleship, or a, or a, I almost said Terran, or a, or a human destroyer, that sort of stuff. As a mount, that'd be super cool, wouldn't it? But I'm just keep thinking about the peon. If you build the farms around your base, you know, maybe your team gets a buff. It'd be kind of like Probius. Maybe you stack some farms up over here. Maybe you build a barracks, and that just increases the flow of units, kind of like you know, Abathur does in a line. You build a barracks. It takes you three minutes to build the first barracks. And, you know, out comes a footman. And then maybe out comes an elven archer. And then maybe if you level up the skill or there's a quest, it gets stronger. Out comes a knight. Same thing with a peon. Maybe there's a grunt. Then it becomes like, you know, an ogre magi who can cast like bloodlust on your minions. Um, or maybe it's a death knight who's like, yes... What is it? You know, the Arcane Mage and the Death Knight. Yes, I know we have that Arthas sort of vibe. But, you know, there's so many units that are exciting. Like the Goblin Zappers. Think of the Goblin Techies in Dota 2. Or the Dwarvish Wrecking Crew. You know, those guys are awesome. And if you can conjure something up like that, that would be absolutely amazing. So that's Warcraft 2. The Peasant, the Peon. You could build Orc... B build more burrows. You know, you could build watchtowers. You could have them be kind of like Probius. But you don't want them to. You want to be unique and cool in his own right. Probe is awesome. Peon and Peasant would be spectacular. I love Probius. I lose a lot with him. 99% of the time I have fun. So that's the point of the game is to have fun, right? And to win and get higher rankings. So you can buy more cool heroes with your golden gems. Warcraft 3. Warcraft 3 is such an amazing game. I love it a lot. I was replaying it. You've got Illidan already. You've got Malfurion. You've got Tyrande. You've got the, the, like, the three main things. I would like to see some more demons and demonic stuff come out of that. I would like to see you go as far as to have Archimond, Kill Jaden, Manoroth, Cenarius. Not demonic, but if you have Manoroth, you have to have Cenarius because they're at odds. You know, those kind of guys, like, you've created this world. You had Arthas rise to power and become a Death Knight. You had Kerrigan become the Queen of Blades. Why not have Archimond, the Destroyer of Worlds, kill Jaden, the Harbinger of the Burning Legion? Wouldn't that be sick? Oh, God, it'd be so much fun. You know, Illidan was terrified of kill Jaden, and Illidan's a badass. So, why not 
cook something up with those guys. Why not stir that up? Those are really exciting. The other thing I want to see too is the heroes. Just the Warcraft 3 heroes. The Warden. You can make her Maiev Shadow Song, and you probably should. But you've got the Demon Hunter, Keeper of the Grove with Cenarius, and Malfurion. You've got Tyrande, who's the whole, like, Priestess of the Moon. She's got that. I want to see the Warden. And again, you've done the same thing with Arthas. He's a Death Knight. You've got Anubarak, who was the Crypt Lord. You've got Kel'Thuzad, who's the Lich. I want to see some Dreadlords, Blizzard. I saw Dreadlord Jaina skin, and I was like, Oh, Vermithrius, Balinar, Tychondrius, all of these guys. I'm like, oh, I want to see them. I want to have that Night Stalker. I want to have that, that, I'm thinking of Dota the Night Stalker. Yes. Like running around. I want to see that Infernal come crashing down and have that burning AoE. I want to see and feel those swipes of a vampire stealing life. I want to see the carrion swarm. I want to see him just put a guy to sleep from far range and be like, all right, there's his tank. Let's kill the hero. You know, I want to see that. The Dreadlord was one of the most fun heroes, especially to rush with. You get Vampiric Aura, rush a bunch of ghouls, raise some skeletons in your graveyard with a rod of necromancy. Necromancy? Necromancy? I'm getting nervous. Necromancy! You just go, oh, they killed a guy, no, 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 and you've just got this Zerg rush, undead horde of monsters attacking them, which is super, super, super cool. But that's not just limited to the undead heroes. You know, I want to see Archmage Antonitis, man. You know, I see Kale, I see Uther, I see Muradin, I see the Mountain King, I see those guys. I don't see a mage. I want to see Archmage Antonitis. That fireball skill, oh, that's so cool. Just his, like, the way you could be like, and that orb would just travel so far. You'd be like, ah, oh, you get that last hit on their hero, and it's, and it's traveling. He's a super popular card in Hearthstone, too. He'd be mounted up already. You know, you could give him his mass teleport, blizzard, water elemental, all that stuff. I know that Jaina has that already, and she's kind of that, but... I'd like to see you repackage Archmage Antonitis with a bit of fire. I want to see that fireball. Maybe it's a skill shot. Maybe it's just a point and click death, you know? But like the thing with Kale's orb is it. I want to see that. I want to feel that with Archmage Antonitis. I want to I want to see some arcane magic. You know, I know you've got a lot of mages in the game already, but I think that Archmage Antonitis would be a healthy addition too. What can I talk about with the orcs? You're missing a couple things. You've got Thrall, the war chief, look Tarogar! But I don't see Karen or Bane Bloodhoof. I don't see the Endurance Aura. I don't see him resurrecting on the battlefield, wreaking havoc with this huge axe. I don't see Grom Hellscream. I don't see a farce here. And I don't see my favorite one. Vengeance for Zul'jin. I don't see the troll witch doctor. I want to be like Snake Ward, heal, hex that guy. Big bad voodoo, Yaman. I killed two dwarves in the morning. You know, I want to see that. I want to feel that more. Could you imagine if you had big bad voodoo coupled with Taz Dingo? That'd be epic. You know, that'd be so epic. Oh, God. I just can't even. What about units units are pretty cool like if you had a mountain giant that'd be pretty sweet if you had chimeras if you had a siege engine even you could do you could accomplish some of that with like give the siege engine skin to sergeant hammer give the orc catapult to you know sergeant hammer i think that'd be sick change the skin up a bit although let's talk about the orc catapult for a second i got this skin and this hero for free opening a loot chest and this is sick this is awesome. When I'm talking about Orc Catapult, it reminds me of, okay, well, you could do something similar to this with with the Peon. Like, maybe you get extra Catapults, extra Siege units that are emboldened by your Peon Resolve. Maybe you become a Chaos Peon and all the units globally get a buff. By all the units, I mean all the Creep Waves, you know, pushing with those really big Creep Waves isn't really a thing anymore. Thanks to this burning sensation known as Ragnaros. But I digress. I love Warcraft 3 so much, 
And, you know, I'd also like to see a Death Knight. You know, the pact is sealed. You know, that unholy aura, passively speeding everyone up. Death pact, death coil, raise the dead. You know, Arthas has a legion of ghouls, but I'd like to see just like an army of undead. When I played the Necromancer in Diablo 2, that's what I wanted. That's why I would always pick, originally, the Death Knight when I was playing Warcraft 3. So it would... And all of their big units, you know, be it a Tauren chieftain, or no, sorry, uh, a Tauren warrior, or a um, or a, a Chimera, or something like that, you know. I would love to see something like that happen. That'd be sick. Speaking of Diablo 2, you guys have been really diligent with Diablo 2. You've brought in, basically, the Ranger. You've got her. She's really cool. She was a good repackaging of that. You've also got the Necromancer. Zul, one of my favesies. The Jade Lich, I call him. Lichin ain't easy. There's a couple ones that I think you could bring up. I want to see the Paladin from Diablo 2. I want to see that Oridin, that Zeladin, throwing around those holy hammers, burning people with a passive aura of righteous fire. And I'm not talking about this i'm not talking about holy fire i want it to be like i've been having so much fun i'm in nightmare difficulty oh my god it's so much fun just do -do 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 charging around everywhere i'm in nightmare difficulty with my Oridin right now and the other thing too is blizzard you've done something really cool in creating a paladin creating the paladin the way you did the aesthetic that you gave the paladin is really cool and it's really emboldening to see a video game company do that, especially during the time that you did it. Um, the other thing, too, that I wanted to bring up was you've been really faithful towards all the universes and you've shown them a great deal of love and care. You know, I want to see the assassin. Yes. You know what? You've given us. I can't find her. I can't find her. You've given us the Amazon. Badass. You've given us. The Necromancer. Badass. You know, I want to see the Assassin. I want to see the Druid. You could have different skill trees. You could make them a multi-class, a mage, tank, whatever you want. Jack of all trades, king of none, I don't care. You could make him a werebear tank. You could make him a melee assassin when he turns into a wolf. You could make him a fire druid. You could have him conjure up that ice storm, that hurricane. You could have him give ice armor or whatever to people. You could have him cast a maul, rabies, fury, all this stuff. He's such a diverse hero. Yes, I know you have Rexar. Yes, I know you have Greymane. And I do see similarities there. But the druid? Oh, my Lanta. What a cool character. Is Malfurion a druid? Yeah. He is. But he's not the same kind of druid. It's like saying, you've got Jaina, but she's not the same as Li Ming. She's not the same as... Who's another mage? I was going to say Chromie, but I can't find a Chromie. They're different mages. But you can have different assassins with things that are a little bit similar about them. Yes, I love the honor you've given to the Barbarian. That was badass. Um, you know, so many characters. I want to see the Assassin. Yeah, I know. I know what you're thinking. But I want to see more of the past. I want to see, you know, a Lightning Sorceress. You know, Static Field takes a third of the enemy's health. That would be badass against someone like, oh, I don't know, Diablo. Now, speaking of Diablo and the prime and lesser evils, Blizzard, I want to see the Lord of Hatred himself and the Lord of Destruction. I want to see the lesser evils. I want to see Duriel and Dariel. I want to see Bale, Lord of Destruction. I want to see Mephisto, Lord of Hatred. We got the Lord of Terror already. And he's a force of nature. But Mephisto and Baal, oh, that rounds out that trilogy. 
That's just so, so cool. You could have lightning. You could have frost. You could have him summoning those festering appendages like he does in the World Stone Temple. As you can tell, I've been playing Diablo 2 a lot and enjoying myself a lot. But I want more. I want to see it within my absolute favorite game. I glanced over at Nova, and it reminded me of Kerrigan. And what that reminded me of was StarCraft. There's so, so many cool units in StarCraft. But there's a lot of really cool heroes in StarCraft 2, and villains in StarCraft 2. Not StarCraft 2, I mean StarCraft as well. We've already got Zeratul. We've already got... Where are you? We've already got Zeratul. Where is Artanis? For Artanis. I don't see him at all. Oh, A to Z, that's why. For Artanis. We've got Zeratul. We've got Artanis. We've got... Tessator. We got Tessator! Yeah, buddy! We got Tessator! We got Tassadar. I want to see Judicator Aldaris. I want to see the Matriarch Rajagal. Be her infested or not. Spoiler alert if you haven't played StarCraft 1. Or Brood War, rather. StarCraft and StarCraft Brood War, the expansion. But there's those characters that just... Just get you. You know? Rajagal... The Matriarch of the Protoss. You could bring in Selendris from StarCraft 2 if you wanted as well. And one of my favorite units in all of StarCraft 2. Two of them, which are very, very near and dear to my heart. Protoss Reavers and Protoss Carriers. You could have it so Judicator Aldaris goes into a carrier and is like... And just... It's kind of like in a new Barak alt, but you wouldn't have to do that. You could, like, have him summon a, a carrier, like how Abathur summons a thing, and just the carrier's gonna push the lane, and the carrier's a beast, and it would take reduced damage from heroes. You know, something like that. The Matriarch Rajagal, you could give her abilities of the Dark Archon. Artanis is a badass. Zeratul's a badass. Tassadar is probably the biggest badass of all three. He can turn into an Archon by himself. It takes two to make an Archon normally. This guy can do it by himself. I want to see some Dark Archons. And I want to see some Lurkers. I want to see the... If you could make, like... The Overmind, or Dagoth, or Zaz, some of the Cerebrits, give them a little bit of play in there. Oh, that'd be amazing. I'm not saying necessarily make them a hero. But also, Samir Duran was a badass. You know, he was a ghost. And even if you just had a regular ghost who their abilities were cloak, lockdown, improved sight, and you went from there, if you could just choo, like have a really long range stun that locks down the target, that'd be super useful for an assassin. Oh, he blinked over the wall, but I fired the projectile and it reveals them. Oh, that'd be useful. You've got banshees. You've got all this stuff. You've got the kettle bruiser with Jim Rayner. You've got the Kettle Bruiser with James Rayner. Where are you, Jimmy? I don't own him. I don't own Jim Rayner. Kane Rayner. Rain Rayner. <sighs> There's so many choices. There's so many things you could do. And especially with the older games. They're so near and dear to my heart that I was like, I want to make this video to be like, hey guys, you're all amazing. You've created some of the most influential moments of gameplay that I've experienced. Because I'm a Blizzard fanboy. And... Actually, you've turned me into a Blizzard fanboy, which is awesome. I love Blizzard games. Now, the other thing, too... I'm kind of just going through all the games one by one by one. The other thing, too, is... I would really like to see... Dragons. I want to see more dragons! You based all this stuff off Dungeons and Dragons. Kind of. You didn't, but you did. You know, even when you're leveling up your character, you have to allocate your skill points. You have to allocate your level ups, like a third level or fourth level or whatever. You know, it's like in the DNA, when you get that skill point boost, you get that ability power. And I want to see more dragons. 
I was thinking a lot, and I know that necessarily you might not be able to bring Deathwing into it because he's bigger than the whole map. But even if you had Nefarian and his ult is Deathwing just flies over the whole map and stuns everybody or does a global AoE of just burning damage, kind of like Zeus from Dota 2, but like a dot or something. That would be cool. Is it similar to Ragnaros? Possibly. Possibly. But you guys will figure something out. Nefarian. Onyxia. These bosses. You brought Ragnaros, who's a raid boss, into the game. Why can't you do the same with... I'm not saying you can't. Why not do the same thing with, you know, Nefarian. Onyxia. Cthulhu. You know... All of these guys. You brought the Lich from Naxxramas. Why not bring the dragon from the Dust Wallow Marsh? You know? Her ult could be something like all of these whelps appear. And it's a mix of like uh, a murky ult and an Asmodan ult. Like they all appear and do a bunch of damage. And then they just... Aah! Or maybe they slow. Or maybe they do something like that. That would be badass. But there's a lot of good dragons too. You know, there's Yasera, there's Alexstrasza, there's Maligos, there's Nosdormu. There's all those guys, too. So they're really awesome as well. There's so many ideas I have that I think would be really, really cool. I've always wanted to work with you guys as well as a voiceover actor, because I am a professional performer, too. But, you know... I'll end it by saying, I want to see Grom. Gromash Hellscream, mighty warrior. The years have not been kind. You know, I want to see him on the battlefield, side by side with Thrall. I want to see him fighting Manoroth alongside Bale, alongside a lightning enhanced sorceress, and then there's a werewolf jumping at them, or a werebear or something. There's so, so much to draw upon. And you guys have done an amazing job thus far. I really mean that. I enjoy pretty much every hero I have played. With the exception of Lili. I don't like Lili. No, I'm kidding. Lili's fine. Um, you guys have done an outstanding job. You've immortalized some of my favorite characters. Illidan Stormrage. Kael Thas. Anubarak, Muradin, where are you, Muradin? Arthas, Muradin Bronzebeard. I can't find him. I can never find Muradin. He's always by Murky. Muradin Bronzebeard. So, so, so much good will come out of what you guys do. I really like Reavers, Carriers, you know. The, the twin-headed Chimera from Warcraft 3, Mountain Giants, you know, Abominations, which you've given us. You gave us Stitches. He's just based on an Abomination. Give us a Reaver. Give us a Scout. Uh, I mean, from Starcraft 2. Give us a Wraith. Give us, uh, you know... Give us General Edmund Duke and Arcturus Mansk. Give us... Mirahan, the mercenary general. Mercenary lord is particularly suiting for her. She's legit a mercenary. Give us Tosh. You know, if you want to talk about a ghost, he kind of combines the, the voodoo shaman with the ghost. That's pretty unique. He, like, even if his ability was like permanently invisible and locked down a bit. All right, cool. I'll play this character for 10 hours. No problem. You know, you guys have created such impactful, cool, exciting, visceral characters that that's why I play this game. I could play Dota. I could play League of Legends. I could play Heroes of New Earth. I play this one because I like the characters you made. And they're really exciting and they make me feel giddy and excited. And I don't think I've stopped smiling this entire video. I just want to see more. And I'm really excited for what's coming next. I hope it's something draconic. Even if you gave us Razor Gore, General Razor Gore, I, I'd, I'd be excited. 
You know, I want to see Baron get in. I want to see people dying to Living Bomb. Yeah, I know Kale has that, but... I just want more. I, I'm down. I'm down with what you're doing. I'm excited. You're preaching to the converted. Like, I love this game. I love Blizzard. I, I'd love to work with you guys in any capacity. Um... Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Maybe a dinosaur. I don't know. Make Megatron a character. Good karma. Warm fuzzies, Blizzard. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all the hard work you do. Hopefully I talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.